Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell Blast Souls Tabletop News with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. We're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan, yeah. this is a colorful looking box. Yeah, this is Azul. Azul. Um, and basically, you are a player, you are trying to decorate the king's bathroom with beautiful tiles. It's wait, a tile. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or, or washroom, however you call yeah, I'm just it. Sorry, I'm sorry, it's uh, the king's. You're, you're yeah, the lord, them. the king's. I can't remember okay. what the specific title of the lord or king. The fancy house's bathroom. Yes, yes. You are a tile layer <laughs> and you're making a fancy bathroom. All right. Uh, but it has these beautiful tiles that you get to use. It's a kind of pattern building game. You're trying oh, to make cool. a it's, it's great. It's fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, color me intrigued. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Fun. All right. <laughs> Seriously, though, this actually sounds pretty interesting. Let's yeah. take a look inside Azul. It is time for Azul. Yes. Let's Just make a fancy bathroom. Fancy bathroom. Back, yeah. back of the box. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is a setup, but yeah. Let's, let's just jump in now. Let's, let's just jump the best in. way. Jump I, in. I mean, I'm really curious about this one. Like the, yeah. the idea of, of doing tiles. It's a nice, bathroom. simple, abstract game, yeah. but a uh, beautiful one at that. It we does look really pretty. Rule book. We're going to go over this in a second, but it is a kind of it's a fold out. Fold out. Uh, so it's one, two, three, four, five, five pages. So sure. not too much. These are the player boards. We're not going to need to open this up. Because each, right? each player gets the same board. Uh, yeah. Up here we have the point tracker. Mm -hmm. Everyone starts at zero, of course. Down here, this is the pattern everyone's trying to create. Everyone has the same pattern. There's five of each design tile on this pattern. Oh. And then you get points based off of uh, if you have full rows, full columns, or diagonals as well. You get more points if you have all five of one color. Stuff like that. Gotcha, this is the gotcha. prepared side of the board. Now, while you're grabbing, grabbing tiles from the, the center, and we'll go over that later, you're going to put it over in the prepared side. Whenever the round ends, you're going to take each row and make what you can. Um, mm. So it's kind of it's kind of challenging because you have to think ahead based off of what you have in the center and can, to grab to put over here because you uh, when you put one of each tile on a row, it's for, for that the rest of the round, you can only put that tile on that row. Interesting. That, that makes sense. Down here, uh, you can get bonus points or my, uh, you get minus points spaces off if you get off the center, but we'll go over that a little bit. Okay. So yeah, every player has the same board. We have these punch outs. These are where the tiles are going to be in the center okay. of the board. Yep. Uh, you might not use all of them depending on how many players there are, but that's just basically the, where they go. All right. All right. So this is the player boards. All right. Let's talk about the compo components because they're awesome. You have this sweet bag. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Very pretty bag. It's this fabric bag yeah. uh, with a drawstring. Okay, and, then, a, and this is where you probably put the tiles and draw. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You have the point tracker right here. Yep. There's just the wooden blocks. Yeah, these are there's two to four players, so it's one for each player. Yeah, and then we get to the tiles. These are awesome. Whoa. If anyone, if, if you've played Bananagrams, they're kind of the same material. I love those. Yeah. So okay, they're kind of it's like them together. Starburst. Yeah. The plastic. They're, they're Starburst to play with. size. There are, are five different ones. There's a regular blue, regular red, and then you have these designs. So. This is the oh, yellow, yeah. the orange design, the blue design. These just make you want to pick them up and play with them. Exactly, like, yeah. That's why I got Bananagrams. I just like to pick up a handful and just play yeah. with them. Yeah, like I don't know why. <laughs> if you're a fidgeter... Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. They're just kind of fun to play with. They're just plastic tiles. But, oh, man. Nothing else at the bottom. And that's all the components. But yeah, this, they're very nice. Uh, kind of this kind of plastic, but... I just want to play with them, man. Because they could have used like wooden tiles, but they didn't. Yeah, uh, but these feel like... They feel kind of like uh, ceramic tiles, but they're not. They're plastic. Yeah, they're plastic. But they have that same kind of uh, gloss finish. Yeah. Um, without the... But because I feel like yeah. the, the aesthetic of the game was important because you're building, I mean, you're, you're, you're building a bathroom. You're a tile, you're, fancy, you're bathroom. fancy bathroom. So, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty component. So, let's just take out the rule book. It's not too complex. We're just playing with the tiles now, man. Well, we can do that later. Okay. <laughs> there are people watching. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, okay, full color rule book. Here you go. Uh, we have the game set up real quick. This is what I'm talking about. They're going to have, you're going to have circles on the center yep. of the board with the tiles on top, four on tiles on each. When you take a tile from the uh, circle, you have to only take one of a color, but you have to take all of that color, and then you put it overhand on the prepared side. Um, then we have the second page, objective of the game. We talked about that briefly, but uh, you get points based off that. If you have full columns, full rows, if there's a full. If anyone has a full row, that ends the game. Um, oh, so it's okay. not actually a, not a long game at all. No, no, no. Gameplay, you have. Uh, do, 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 do. Over multiple rounds, there's the factory offer, the wall uh, tiling, and then the prepare the next round. Factory offer is kind of building up your uh, prepared side. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then we have the wall tiling, which is 
putting it on the pattern. And then we have, of course, the prepping the next round. Um, there's not much else to it other than that. So whenever you put a tile down in a row, you can only have that tile in that row. So you have to think ahead. Like, let's say I really need the blue tiles uh, just to fill up my pattern. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna put it on this bottom row where there's five spots so I can get more in the future. And then whenever the round ends, I can put them down on my pattern. Interesting, okay. You can also kind of screw over people because let's say you know someone needs a certain tile, you can kind of take it. You gotta take yeah, it. There is a lot of ac actually, some like, strategy interaction with other yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, every time you take one of a color from a circle, the rest of the tiles go in the center. And if anyone ever takes from the center, they get the first player marker for the next turn. However, they also put it down here uh, at the vo bottom of the board, which we saw. Oh, and they're going to get a minus, minus one, one point at the end of the round. And every time you do that, you get more minus. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Okay. That's basically it for that. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward game. It's really easy to learn. Uh, it's still challenging, though. It has, yeah, yeah. it has a lot of strategy involved. Uh, there's different scorings here. And end of the game, which we kind of talked you about. You just talk about the points. Yeah, so that's that's really it. That's a zool. Cool. So let's go. Uh, let's do the recap, and then we can play with these songs. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. Let's do a quick recap because uh, I definitely want to finish with those. Well, that was Azul. What do you think? I mean, those tiles are wonderful. Yeah, like it's, it's really colorful. It's super easy to learn and play. Yeah, and into. I think that's the cool. biggest draw is it's the color and and yeah. just the, the the tiles themselves. They're nice quality. Yeah, um, it makes you want to like pick up and play with them. Like, yeah, it's not they like, feel like actual tiles too. So yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. And it's yeah. a fantastic game. It's, it's really a fun cool. system too. Uh, it's easy to learn, but mm -hmm. you know, it's it's engaging. I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And again, you can play really quick because mm -hmm. it's it's designed for that. Yeah. Speaking of which, let's uh, crunch the numbers on this one. Sure. Fast. What is the playtime on these? 30 to 45 minutes, so not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, good filler game. It is two to four players. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, ages was, what, eight, eight and, up? and up? It's not a complex game or yeah. violent in any way. Great for means. kids, yeah. great for family to game time. For sure. For that. And, and then what's it, the price point? 39.99. Yeah, so it's pretty good price for what yeah. you're getting. Lots of replay value. Mm -hmm. Again, there is some strategy there to it. Yeah, there's definitely simple strategy. Enough to for sure. Learn. Yeah. Um, I really like it. Yeah, like, it's really yeah. colorful. I just want to kind of mess with those tiles more. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go <laughs> play with the tiles. Let's go play with the tiles in the bathroom. All right, that was Azul. I'm Adam Harry from Bell Hustles. I'm Evan from Dragons Lair Comics Fancy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragons Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.